just found four jumping spiders in the same place. There's one there. There's one that was over there. There's one over there. It's kind of crazy because it looks like maybe two females and one male, or three females and one male. So I <laughs> wonder if they're all trying to breed with him. The big strong man that's tiny. <laughs> Because these females are like twice his size and he has a lot more black on him so he's definitely a male. And there's that one. She was chasing around one of the other females so I don't know if she's trying to fight it for mating rights or something but you know. This one over here just joined the party. She's in the wrong part of the window to even see the rest of them. <laughs> yeah this is pretty cool. You know, I was thinking I was going to catch a couple of these and then try to make captive bred zebra jumping spiders because I don't think they exist yet and also I've never seen someone sell a zebra jumping spider, period. So I'm going to try to do that, but I'm going to leave them alone while there's like four of them here um, just to see if they breed or what they're doing so yeah that's pretty cool hi little friend man i love jumping spiders these zebras are like super tiny <laughs> they only eat fruit flies because this is a full-grown adult right here and it's smaller than the tip of my finger yeah, these are great little pets because they are actually tame spiders, even wild caught. I've never been bitten by one. They're also super adorable and they like look at you and stuff because they're very visual predators, so they look around. And when they want to eat, they don't make webs to catch things like other spiders do. They actually just pounce on them and catch them that way. It's really cool. So yeah, I'll keep recording if I see anything interesting happen, but otherwise I'm just gonna watch them for a while and probably catch them. So yeah. <laughs>